Hello friends, uh, my name is Dmitry. I'm the owner of Kelix 250, which is uh, similar to modern Kelix 300. My bike is uh, Asian specification, uh, 2022, uh, already bore up to 300, but not, that's not the point. Uh, the bike is similar to Kelix 300 and all fuel injected uh, Kelix 200 since 2009. And um, today um, I want to show you how to improve your front suspension. So I'm on the heavier side of riders. I'm 90 kilogram. Um, my weight is 90 kilogram. So the front suspension, according to race tech calculator and to all the uh, feedback from the riders, is a little bit soft. So according to the race tech calculator, uh, the front shock sprints uh, should be about 0 0.48 kilogram per millimeter for my weight but unfortunately uh, here in Bali where I live um, ordering race tech springs is quite expensive so the the cost of the pair of race tech springs is about $200 which is already pretty expensive but on top of that uh, when you pay shipment and taxes here in Bali the cost will be around $350 so I spent um, a lot of time trying to figure out what um, other OEM manufacturers uh, like standard springs I can use on my forks. So we uh, on, on Kalix 300 the fork is 43 millimeter. So there are a lot of bikes with either KYB or Showa suspension which use 43 millimeter springs. But unfortunately our spring on Kalix um, since 2009 uh, is quite short, it's 415 millimeters and on the most bikes I found the, the spring uh, length is at least 450 millimeters. But again, after, after long research I found that we can use um, spring from Tenere 700 which is 0 0.60 kilogram per millimeter which is very stiff if we use both springs. But if we keep one of our standard springs and add Tenere 700 springs to the other leg, then the um, total stiffness will be uh, about uh, 0 0.96 um, millimeter um, per kilogram per, per millimeter, which is equal to uh, 0 0.48 millimeter if we use the same spring. Um, you can you can like say uh, that it's not the proper way that you use the um, two different stiffness springs in two legs, but um, that's not quite true. For example, on CRF 300, they use only one spring in one leg. On Beta Cross Trainer, they use only one spring in one of the legs. So we can put uh, this spring to. For example, I'm planning to put it to the right fork leg, and uh, let's see what happens. Um, I already actually tried this spring on my bike, um, and unfortunately there is one uh, small problem. Uh, the last coil, the diameter of the last coil, this one, um, is unfortunately is a little bit uh, smaller compared to what we need. So in order to use this spring in our um, fork, we need at least 28 millimeter. Here, the last coil is 27 millimeter, so the spring does not slide into the um, shaft, plastic shaft guide for our uh, piston rod in the uh, shaft. And apart from that, this spring is about 10 millimeter longer than our stock helix spring. Which would be fine, you know, if if, uh, if we can use it, um, um, if the coil will fit. So it will be just a little bit more preload, uh, so you will feel the spring a little bit more stiff. But um, overall, like if you add one centimeter, ten millimeter preload on on the one fork leg, uh, it will be not that much harsh. But anyway, since uh, we need to modify the last coil. Um, let us try to cut this oil and then finish the surface to make it flat. 
uh, from the both sides. Uh, and let's see what can happen. So I'm doing this first time. So be with me. Let's see what we can do um, to upgrade our front suspension on the budget. Yeah, by the way, uh, there is a part number for this print. If someone interested in, uh, to, to make the same thing, I will leave it in the comments. But yeah, feel free to use it. Couple of quick measurements before we start. Um, so as you can see, the length of the sprint is about 427 millimeter. It's a very nice weather for project. Factory last coil is 26.3 millimeter. That's what we cut, we have 27.5. I hope this will be enough. The next thing we will need to do is to hit the last coil and then when it will be hot enough we will, we will be able to compress the spring and it will bend to the flat surface at least that's what I've seen on YouTube so let's see what we can do it's it's getting red so yeah I hope everything will be fine and we will be able to bend it Yeah, as you can see, the, sh the surface is better now. Uh, it's not perfect though. Uh, I think we a little bit overbended it. So let me try one more time. I think the key point is how you apply pressure. So the pressure should be um, from the top to the bottom. It's not yet perfect. Uh, I'm doing this first time, so let's let's see what we can do better. How how can we do better? So what we do now is after we made a pretty flat surface uh, with heat, we will polish it and make it more perfect with the. by polishing it here. The surface is pretty flat. So here are results. Um, I cut from one side a little bit more than I wanted. So the spring is already 415 millimeters. So from this side, I think what we will try to do is we will try to heat it and then expand the last coil with the just pushing it outward like this. Okay, friends, so I installed the spring from Yamaha Tenere 700. Uh, this is the original Kawasaki Kalix spring. I just uh, keep it to show you what I had to, to do to install it. So in total, I removed uh, about one full coil from one side of the Yamaha Tenere 700 spring. As um, I've shown previously, what I've done, I um, heated uh, on my gas stove 
and then um, I compressed it to make a flat surface. On top of that, um, um, from one side I had to expand the last coil instead of cutting it. Uh, I did the same way, so I hit it on a gas tool and then I used um, this tool to, to push it outward and the last coil spring expanded. I cannot say that it was easy modification since the space is very tight inside the fork so you need to be really precise by this uh, millimeters and fraction of millimeters to make it slide uh, to the um, fork but uh, yeah let's see overall I already tried it on the bike everything looks fine uh, but yeah I spent about two hours back and forth um, trying to make correct size of the last coil spring so good luck to you if you want to try uh, it's possible it's like a poor man solution for your front suspension um, which cost me uh, around 30 bucks um, yeah but now you know that it's possible hello friends so i've done a test ride on this uh, yamaha tenere 700 spring this is the spring um, the problem was that even though i expanded the last coils from each side um, there still was a little bit more tension inside the spring guide inside the fork and uh, so sometimes when you compress the fork it does not immediately rebound when you compress it slowly so i feel suspension could work better so what i've done I took off this uh, spring guide you can see it here so you remove the end cap here then you remove this nut from the shaft and then you can easily take off the, uh, um, the spring guide and I machined it one millimeter and now uh, it, it matches the size of the spring and can easily uh, slide inside. So I will install it and uh, um, I hope this time the suspension will work more smooth.